The first day of summer, known as the summer solstice, isn't for a few more weeks, but today, June 1st, is the first day of meteorological summer. Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Allie Gallup, that's a mouthful, shows us the difference between astronomical and meteorological seasons and why we have them. Memorial Day weekend is often referred to as the unofficial start to summer. But this past Saturday and Sunday, it was colder here in Scranton than it was on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Most people would consider the official start to summer the summer solstice, when the sun is at the highest point in the sky in the northern hemisphere. That happens around June 21st each year. But for meteorologists, June 1st is the start of summer. That's because we use meteorological seasons instead of astronomical. Meteorological summer is based on the annual temperature cycle. So our warmest months of the year coincide with meteorological summer. Having meteorological seasons helps meteorologists compare data from year to year. 2018 was one of the rainiest summers on record for the Scranton area. Last year was one of the warmest. Looking at the dates from the start of June through the end of August makes comparing that data easier. We always average the months together. It's just easier that way. Instead of, you know, having June 20th to July 20th, you know, as a, you know, it's just, it's more convenient and it's June, July, and August are the three warmest months of the year. The average high temperature for June 1st is 76 degrees. By the end of the month, the average high is 84. The summer solstice happens this year on Sunday, June 20th at 1131 p.m. The winter solstice happens on Tuesday, December 21st. That means if following the astronomical seasons, it's technically fall up until four days before Christmas. Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16, Scranton.